Welcome to the voice of the Lord. Our verse for today is in Acts chapter 3, verse 6. Then Peter said, Silver or gold I do not have, but what I have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. A lot of people are depending on their silver or gold for their healing. They thought, friends, that if they got the best medicine, if they get the best doctors, they will get well. But friends, many times they fail. But in this particular case of this layman, friends, the apostle Peter ministered to him. And Peter was so open in saying that I don't have the money to give to you so you can go and see a doctor for your healing. No, he said that I don't have the money, but what I have, I give to you. And therefore, friends, he said to this layman, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, stand up and walk. And lo and behold, friends, the man stood up and he walked. He was leaping and he was jumping for joy because healing had come. Wow, friends, what a cheap way to get healing. You don't need the silver and the gold, friends, to get well. Just invoke the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and you will get well. Amen. So Peter said that in the name of Jesus. Do you believe though in the name of Jesus? If you believe, then it will happen. But otherwise, it won't happen. Regardless of what you do, friends, it won't happen if you don't believe. But if you believe, it will happen. See, you got to have faith in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for you to receive your healing. And the person that is praying for you should have his faith in the Lord Jesus Christ to pray for you. So his faith plus your faith meeting together, friends, it will perform miracles. Amen. It will happen just as you ask. And just as the person that is praying for you will ask. So friends, why don't you increase your faith? And that's the reason why we are told, friends, that if you are sick, then call the elders of the church to pray for you. See, you got to have faith, friends, to believe that their prayers will happen because you will put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and they too will be praying out of their faith in Jesus. Then you will be healed. Hallelujah. So friends, today develop a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Have faith in Him. Believe, friends, that He is able to heal not only your physical body, but even your spiritual being. So friends, have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe in Him as your Lord and a Savior. So that when you call on Him, then He will answer. And He will show you great and mighty things. See, the healing of your body, restoration of your, of your relationship, blessing in your job, whatever that will be. Friends, if you pray in the name of Jesus, Amen. That is the name that is powerful. At the name of Jesus, every tongue shall confess that he is Lord. Have you confessed that he is Lord? Have you personally confessed that Jesus is your Lord? We are told first that every tongue shall confess that he is Lord. And every knee shall bow before him, friends. So why don't you do that exactly and believe in the Lord Jesus and receive the blessing that you ask of him? Hallelujah. So friends, this is the power of the name of Jesus. You don't need your silver or your gold to be delivered from your problem today. Rather, all that you need, friends, is faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. And that comes when you receive him as Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. So why don't you call on the name of the Lord now? I pray, friends, that in your situation today, in the name of Jesus, be delivered as you believe in him. Amen. Be delivered now and receive your deliverance now in faith. Your faith and my faith come together. Friends, it happens. Hallelujah. So be free in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's walk in faith, friends. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May his face upon you and be gracious unto you and lift up his countenance on you and give you his peace, his shalom. God bless. See you again next time. Bye.